Hello everyone, Jason here, and today we are playing Anno. Uh, now I'm gonna have to explain what this game is. It's kind of like Civilization, and I'll uh, I'm gonna show you it now. Let's get cracking. I've loved Anno for a long time. It's an amazing game. I don't know why the hell it's called Anno though. This is one of the many mysteries of this universe. Yes, it is a very mysterious thing. Anyways, uh, on with the game. Right, come on, come on, Ubisoft. Enough of these adverts about safety. Come on. Uh, Blue Bites Production. Never heard of that game. Never heard of it. Uh, Keen. Never heard of that. That. All oh, right. Here we go. Anno. Create a new world. Okay. None of these guys will have an empty profile slot. Thank you very much. We will play as, play as, now these are all uh, characters from the game. I will play as Sabu Kahira, because this guy's hilarious, this guy's hilarious. Uh, right, it doesn't really matter, you play as the same guy each time. Uh, I guess this is just a way of remembering which slot is which. Right, story mode please, let's go for story. Uh, let us start a new game. Easy. We want it easy, guys. Now, I'm standing up for this, because a lot of it uses the Wii's sensor stick. Right in 2004, a devastated great part of my game. Oh, no. Not a drought. Was hanging by a thread. Oh, god damn. Shit, son. Look at that red. Look at that red. That son of a bitch come by my house? Oh shit, desperate. Yeah, damn right, King George. Yes! That's me, William Riley. I seek your advice. Okay. You don't say. Yeah. Mate, yet they swing their sides at us. I say we we'll make them march, conquer the lands to our war. Holy Let them shit! Fight. They to fight. What? That's a terrible not, idea. It is not another war we need. We have plenty of land to settle. There are countless islands in our kingdom fed by the soil and fields. I say we set sail, settle, and farm that much for the ice. I like the sound of that. Yeah, that's a good idea. And settle our island. Now be gone. Great work lies ahead of us. There is no time to waste. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like uh, Edward's plan. Edward, your plan is shit. We, we can't start war on kingdoms to the north. You just can't go around doing that. Oh, this guy! <laughs> Devon Port. Master William, sir, your father thought it a good idea this that guy. I aid you on your travel. Okay, sure. <laughs> but seven boats, you can't travel on ships. You get seasick. Yes. Indeed, yeah. sir. A concern I addressed with your father. And he still sent you? Yes. He knew an easy solution to my problem. Oh, yeah? And what would that be? To lean over the railing with me, please, sir. <laughs> Lovely. Well, welcome on board. May this journey be a pleasant one for us and your stomach. Right. I, William Riley, am heading south with my personal advisor, Cornelius Devonport, and a couple of pioneers. There I will build my first settlement and help fight the starvation in our kingdom. So, yep, we're a prince, we're gonna kick some ass. Thank goodness we have arrived. Master William, we are close to the island your father the king would like us to settle. Good. I hear your brother Edward has also arrived. And has already begun to build a second one. Oh, Perhaps fantastic. we'll meet later on in our plan. Mm, For now, Master William, may I introduce to you Pioneer Tom. Hey, Tom. Mr. Devonport, sir, we have completed the warehouse of the island. The island is ours now. I like this guy. He, he's a very happy chap. Very good. Let's get a better overview of the area by taking a look around. And then try to reach the warehouse by following the displayed map. 
Blade Arrow. I believe I can also zoom in and out on this sort of thing. Well oh. done, Master William. You have found the way. Yay! I found the way out, everyone. Just a bit of wood. Here's that book you asked for. Oh, a book. Oh, thank you ever so much. Master William, this is our book. Mm -hmm. I will list all our missions and detail our programs here. You can always have a look there if you forget what to do next. Select the highlighted button to take a look at what we should do next now. Okay, cool. Here we go, last book. Open the tool set. Ah, okay. Now let's open the tool set for the warehouse. Uh, to do so, pop the cursor over the building and press the display button. Ah, the first building <laughs> erected on every island. You need this to store goods for your inhabitants. Oh, excellent. Well done, John. Well done, Master William. As you can see on the screen, we do not have any inhabitants living in any of our settlements so far. But many of us will come to your island to be providers with houses and goods. Yeah, I can imagine they would, you know. I hope so, Tom. When we fulfill these needs, our inhabitants will happily be willing to pay taxes, which we can then use to improve our settlement. Ah, oh, yeah. Happily. Oh, he's happy about the taxes. Uh, I like this about taxes later. Master William, let us build the first inhabitant's house for our friend Pioneer Tom. Yeah. We just need a lot of wood to build these. <laughs> I got a lot of wood. <laughs> very little land. So little that we can only build one house now. Okay, fair enough. Quite right, Tom. But there is a simple solution to what you're saying. For now, Master William, let's build that one house. I have marked out an area for the first inhabitant's house. Choose where you want to build it. In order to build something, you have to access the construction. Yeah, mate, area. I know the construction Select menu. The highlighted button. And now here is where everything just goes all motion sensory, which is why I'm standing up. Let's move this a little long, a little long, I'll just face it. Sorry, this is thanks very much, Master William. My family really likes the spot you chose for our new home. Good. You're welcome, Tom. Master William, next we need to build a road here from the house to the warehouse. Ah, the house That's to the warehouse. Right. Without a road, we cannot get the food we need. Ah. So let's connect the inhabitant's house and the warehouse by building a road between them. A road! In order to build a road, we need to open the construction menu. And I can do that by pressing B. And I can do this by pressing and A. Press the display do you see the display line? Yeah, and I do that like that. And I can have the road here. Ah, yeah. Or press the display button to end the road. Just build a few more. Well done, Master Lee. We can now reach the warehouse to get food for my family. Thanks to you, this island has become a home to us. Oh, good. And I'll have to make it home to more than just one family. Master William, your father the king is expecting our support in the form of food soon, and we will need many more people to get the job done. Yeah, we will. Still, as I mentioned before, we need wood to build more inhabitants' houses, and we used the last wood for the first building. Yeah, we did use the last bit of wood up. That's why we must spend a few gold coins to build a lumberjack's hut and connect it to the warehouse. We can do that. It's easy. Oh, really? I was going to have it there. Screw you, Devonport. Press the display button. Well done. The lumberjack's hut is built. And the position is well chosen. There is enough space for trees to be. Now we need to connect it to the existing Yeah, I know. I'll connect it to the can be connected by the market wagon. The lumberjack's hut is connected to the warehouse. Oh, Can you yeah. see the market wagon? Oh, look at these the guys. Look at these guys. Look at these rude dudes going to and from the, uh, the warehouse to get the wood. Look at this guy. There's a guy with a wagon. And there's another guy with a wagon. It's amazing. If the wood has reached the warehouse, we can expand our settlement now. Yeah, we, we can. We can expand our settlement. Now that we have wood. First, we need to get a better overview of the island, so we don't lose track of our buildings. Oh, yes. You can do that by zooming in or out. Finally! Try it. Finally, I actually get to zoom out. Hover your cursor and 
well done. Okay. You now know how to zoom in and out. Hey, you now don't say. You know how to keep an overview of what is going on. We should start expanding our small settlement. Yeah. I know many people that would join this growing community if we could provide them with houses. Okay. So, let's expand our village by building three more inhabitants' houses and connecting them to the warehouse by a road. Okay. You can also copy a building. Oh, I can copy a building. Well, and press yeah, sorry, Tom, but I'm copying your house. We need two more inhabitants' houses. Please build one more inhabitant's house. Yeah, yeah, I'm on it. Impressive. You placed the required houses so that you didn't even have to build a new road. Oh, yeah. Like a Excellent, boss. Excellent, Master William. Our number of inhabitants is increasing. If you continue to progress at this rate, we will have a productive metropolis much sooner than expected. We can soon begin to send food back to your father. Ah, oh, yeah. Speaking of food, we have a lot of pioneers now, but no steady supply of food. We need to ensure that our stock of food does not run out. We do not want people to leave the island. Yeah, we don't want them to starve, mate. That's another worry. The cup here is a beach, and we saw fish by the shores. Okay. I suggest we build a fisherman's hut. Yeah. Tom is absolutely right. Of course he is. Look at that face. That's a face that says I know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, Tom, we'll build your flipping fisherman's hut. Select your people. So they can have their food. Now connect the fisherman's hut to the room. You know how this works now, don't you? Yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, I know it's good. Excellent. Good. We are proud of what we have already accomplished. Good. We have wood to build and food to eat, so we're happy. This is becoming a very nice settlement. Maybe you should start looking for ways to expand. Okay. Oh yeah. Save menu here. Yeah. I'm gonna save this game. Look at this. Well, that was our first level, guys. Well done, Master Wing. Our first mission is accomplished. Now, how do we get off this island? Huh. Oh shit, another boat. Another boat! Master William! Master William! Oh yeah, another another advisor. Good. The name is Bellard. As in Henry Bellard, the famous seafarer and adventurer. I am his daughter, Evelyn, at your service. The Achilles has sent me to be your personal advisor. My personal advisor? Really? Don't be fooled by my age, sir. I have travelled many seas and been to far distant places only a few eyes have seen. I am a well of experience. Really? Confident, of course. Indeed, sir. Humility is not one of my virtues. Which is okay. why I would like to suggest a plan. A plan? Oh, please, don't let me stop you, if such a thing is possible. Okay. Okay, so uh, that was the first level of Anno, guys. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I th I've saved the game so far, so if you guys uh, want... Um, want to see more stuff like this happening on my channel, more Anno, uh, then leave a, a li if this video gets a lot of attention that is, if you leave a comment, um, a like, or subscribe to my channel, I will make sure that Anno continues on. Uh, I really I really want to play through the game with you guys uh, quite a bit more because there's an epic story in it. I've never played it the whole way through, uh, and that's something I'd, I'd like to do, possibly. So, uh, make sure you leave a like, uh, and a comment below if you want more of this. But for now, I've been Jason Paul McDermott. I will see you all later. Bye. Salute.